to Vancouver. I wish life were like that. Instant transmission. <laughs> Look at this absolute menace. What is he doing? <laughs> hey, yo. <That's> so dumb. <laughs> Just kidding, I ain't one of those people. We're in the zoo. Appreciate it, man. We're just going to Aberdeen, so yeah, and really close by. Since our Airbnb check-in was around 3 p.m., we had to kill some time. Ordered ourselves an Uber, but was not expecting this. This thing had like two PS4s inside it, a karaoke machine, LED lights everywhere. Got dropped off at a super Asian mall called Aberdeen. We grabbed ourselves some delicious Asian cuisine. What meant you was the sticks, yo. Hey guys, back in Vancouver. I wish life were like that. Uh, it literally took three seconds, but also like maybe 20 minutes to edit and then three hours to actually complete in travel time in reality. But uh, we're here, this is our Airbnb for the week. And uh, yeah, let me show you guys around. Thanks, bro. Yeah. Perfect. Do I jump down too? There's a sunny, there's a good thing. There's an eddy. Over here, nice washroom. A live light. There's my brother. Nice little work table. One room. And room number two. Slick. Alright, now what? <clears throat> we're in Van City, so after finding a bit of inspiration, we headed down to this nearby garage turned cafe called La Forêt. Pardon my French. This place was a Korean based French cafe. So it had everything from insanely delicious looking pastries, and they were actually really good. Definitely a place to visit if you're ever in Vancouver. But this was mainly a meeting point because guess who else was in town? So far from home! I heard you're here for snowboarding? Uh, yeah, and just hanging out and doing car stuff. I got some illegal activities in the memory <laughs> card here. <laughs> we hopped off the plane and we went straight drifting. Can I steal some content? He's being on a Oreo binge. Oreo diet. Oh. It's actually really good. <laughs> we got one for the vlogs. <laughs> I yeah. gotta say hi to everybody. Yeah, Andrew, man. Long time no see, brother. Jeez. And then Andy, you're going snowboarding with these guys too? Yeah, man. Oh, crazy. I didn't even know you snowboarded. I fucked up my shoulder. Because <laughs> you think it's the same, right? No, I, try, I try to do a, a 360. <laughs> and the, I forget how long the snowboard is, and I clip the fucking bank. Right. And I flew all the way to flat on my shoulder. And then they fucking pulled me down the whole mountain, bro. <laughs> Shit, dude. No insurance, too, so I just took it. Alright, we're inside the Expo Center and we are here at our booth. PR1. We're pushing P. Sweet, right across from the swords people. Alright, uh, let's do our thing. Uh, make a wall. Make see a wall, if... keep them out. Alright, booth's all set up. Voila. Oh, we're missing a print. This is actually bigger than the one we had in Calgary by two feet.
think we're done for the night. We're just gonna walk around Vancouver downtown and then uh, probably find somewhere to eat close by. Boys, how beautiful. Just like a spotlight on this thing. That's so sick. I want to see if I can get good compression. Oh. What the f the Indian had to come in front, man? Oh, <laughs> don't get that on camera. I'm definitely keeping this in. <laughs> Inconsiderate people. <laughs> Yo. Oh, man. Planning on watching Uncharted. Came out today. Uncharted more like farted. It's like a, it's like a hour. Oh! Yeah, and like, we could go to the 24 hour fuck place maybe. I don't know. Oh, sure. Yeah. And then just go to the. We didn't go for pho, but we went to this southern Indian cuisine place that had these things called dosas, which looked like this huge burrito, but they're so good. Okay, it looks a little smaller. Like, this is all empty. No, it's but this is where you like dip. And it was during this night that we decided to try all of our friends' cultures' cuisines while we were in Vancouver. Damn, that looks good too. That looks gas. Yeah, that's bumping. That's bust. Dude, I got a sick idea. This is basically free retail space. So I'm gonna put some posters up on this pillar. It'll uh, draw some more people this way. And the fact that it's basically exhibitors and then artist's alley means we're gonna see a lot of traffic. I mean, hopefully. A few hours into the show and it was already so packed. Saw some characters, drew some commissions. The one you're looking at was to turn the commission buyer into a demon slayer and then have her drawn with sexy Aaron from Attack on Titan season four. And after the first day was over, we went for culture dinner number two. Yo, what's good, YouTube? First time being an Ethiopian food with my boy, Gutu. What country are you from? Ethiopia. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we're eating at Gojo's restaurant. Gojo's domain. <laughs> It's mainly vegetarian, but according to this guy, a little bit spicy. I'm excited to try it nonetheless. I'm sure they like whitewash it. <laughs> it tells us that uh, our ancestors are those uh, ancient. This is a green chicken. Oh, it looks amazing, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Uh, it's basically like the bread that we use to eat. It's like our version of a bread. Not gonna lie, this place was so good. And there's something about eating with your hands that just makes the food taste so much better for some reason. Good morning. It's the second day, and look what car we got to drive today. Shout out to Simon. Thanks for lending us this car for the weekend. Uh, those guys went snowboarding up in Whistler with the Lemonade Boys this weekend stuck here in Vancouver for the Vancouver Fan Expo But that's all good. It's a weekend full of nerdiness and anime stuff, so can't complain Plus we got this ride for the day. Hey, and also if you guys are familiar with this channel, you'll recognize this car This is Andy's Honda. You don't see them build them like this No step Damn. First off, I don't think I've ever driven Derpy's car. Or well, I did once to test out his new clutch, and it's a racing clutch, so it's pretty hard from what I can remember to actually get it engaged. But um, also, <laughs> there's like nothing left untouched in this car. Like everything from the transmission to, to his entire gear shift stick setup. Um, but yeah. Oh fuck! Sorry, sorry. This isn't my car, so I'm gonna treat it like a baby. Or I'm gonna treat it like it was mine. Actually, yeah, that's not as bad as I remember. <laughs> I'm just let him know with a text that I'm stealing his car. I only have like 15 minutes to get to the convention center, but this is my ride because everyone else at the Airbnb is still asleep and still gotta get ready. So it's gonna give him like an extra hour to get down there. Someone has to be down there. <laughs> Plus, those guys are here for vacation. I'm here for work. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, I gotta get used to this. I gotta hand it to you, Simon. I like the way your stick handles. That's such a short throw. Nah, this isn't bad, actually. It feels nice. It feels dialed in because, actually, Simon's FRS is 
specifically built for track, so. At first I said that I love you and you ain't say that shit back. It's kind of hard to just trust you when both your feelings don't match. Got me showing less emotion. We made it, guys. Parking spots made for small car only. And it looks like Derpy's car is just a little bit too long. Didn't really want to back up any more than that because I don't trust myself. Well, for me, man, I have a diffuser, but I guess I could back up just a little more. I don't think we're going to get in trouble for that. I say I have a little bit of time to walk around. Let's do that and show you guys some of the booths that are here. Or the happenings of a Canadian Fan Expo. The first one in Vancouver, specifically in the last two years. Basically, this entire section or that half is all artists alley. And then over here, just random exhibitors, uh, brands like Red Bull has their own little setup here. This is where they were doing uh, Street Fighter tournaments. They had Smash Bros tournaments. Now what I'm specifically looking for when I come to these conventions most important, priority one, are digivices uh, from any generation and art books. So uh, it doesn't really matter what kind of art book, just any that uh, inspires me. We'll have one of these unbuilt at home. <laughs> These guys have quite the collection of Demon Slayer swords. Are those bleach? I don't know. No, I'm pretty sure those are the Hashiras. <laughs> so from iconic movie cars... <laughs> There's the shot right there. ...to Demon Slayer kimonos... <laughs> ...and even got Kamen Rider versus Power Rangers. This is why I love these types of conventions. It just brings all of the cool parts of subcultures all around the globe together. Oh, Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I, I have to watch that. Again, anime. just a prolonged amount of time for us to all nerd out together. Sure. Yeah, well, appreciate you guys. Thank you. Is that Sean? No way! Yo! What are you guys doing here? These guys are from Calgary too! <laughs> Second day of Fan Expo is done. Birdie by the Meta Girl. Or a boy. Oh, no. What are you I'm, doing? I met someone today. Yeah, was it a boy? Yes. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know, she was kind of cutie. Yo, cut it off. She was kind of cutie. Alright, day two of Fan Expo is over. He has signal lost. What the? I'm gonna go return Derpy's car before... I mean, I'm not gonna jinx it. Not even gonna say it. But, uh, yeah. The fillers are here with the rental and, uh, would rather just carpool. Make it easier. This, no, this thing's dope. Love it. And it's, uh, way more comfortable to drive as a daily than my FRS, believe it or not. Or it feels like that anyway. A little check here. I don't trust myself. I'm so scared of uh, curbing Simon's wheels. <laughs> oh, okay. And then that's a Andy's car. Oh yeah? Notice that. <laughs> yeah, yo, let's smash his windows. <laughs> hey. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good, yeah. All right, let's dox this guy's address. Thanks, Papa Simon. Yeah, we're nice. Right. All right, car for a wide body. <laughs> pretty all right. Make sure no lights are on. There's lights on everywhere. What are you saying? Come on, man. Not in there. If he's pointing to my head. If you point him to my head, I might give you head. What? <laughs> Sexual all the time, son. Welcome back to day three of Fan Expo. Just finishing up a commission. Our Doflamingo sketch that we started yesterday. Let me take a photo of this, and I plan on making this one of the prints. Dude, I recommend. Yeah. It's like everything that the original FRS was missing, and it's like. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah dude. I'm sure you'll, you'll get there soon, man. Yeah, Yo, hopefully. thanks for the present, bro. Look at this. Just hooked me up with a GR Supra. Appreciate it, man. Thanks, thanks for always buddy. coming by. Yeah, see of course, you. man. We'll see you at Annie Revo. Yeah. <laughs> That's such a sick portrait of Gutu. <laughs> Got a whole commission, and the guy's making me do it in his sketchbook. 
Don't point that at me. You're, that's illegal. Do you have a permit? Give me my you have a permit? Get out of here. Cut. It's a cut. I just want a it, photo of your cosplay, please. Oh, yeah. I'm ugly. <laughs> <laughs> she pretty much. <laughs> Shit. All right, guys. Day three of Fan Expo is over. So that means home time just taking down uh, trying to do this as fast as possible with four people helping me closing time. I can sleep yeah closing, closing time. there's a car meet that is happening at a chat time for February in Vancouver it should be a pretty decent turnout you bought this hoodie at the show it's one of the artists booths and I thought it was pretty cool because for this drawstrings they're using these chains Pretty got a girlfriend. Baby. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Actually, that's pretty good. Look at that. For night. Oh, that's hot, yeah. Your camera's stuck. That's amazing. Is that an S4? No. Yeah, we didn't have a hell of a year ago. We're not in the cars, we gotta park four. Those are fucking Previas, right? Those two other ones? They're like mid engine rear wheel drive, you know that? Yeah, you're right. Oh. Yo, I'm not waiting for line. Oh, wait, that's not line. I got the, the approval. Yo, pretty insane turnout. I think we saw Derpy, but we're gonna walk around and show people. <laughs> Holy mom. Oh, hey, hey, how are you? Mm, fucking cold. Mm. Where's your jacket? Hello, can I random? Oh shit! Can I get a picture, brother? Yeah, sure, man. Oh my goodness! Oh, what up, what up, what up, what up, Sunny, right? Hell <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, brother! Hey, man! Hey, 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 hey! Hey! Oh shit! I actually. You want to touch tips, yo? Yeah. Yeah. I'll put my Venus in your Venus. <laughs> Just literally saw the video like two days ago. You saw my video? What the fuck? Bro, I watch everyone here, man. What's your name, yo? Andy. Andy, what you know my name? Yo, I appreciate you, man. This is sick, yo. Thank you. I appreciate this. Man. Just giving yeah, away to... Hot Wheels and stuff. I have, yeah, uh, I gave away a lot already, but that's yeah. dope. Honestly, it's kind of mid. Yeah, no, that's okay. sick, dude. Yeah. For being pretty cold night, overall, sick turnout. Definitely a nice taste of what the Vancouver scene has to offer. Or you could say this is the China moguls sending their kids to become westernized in Canada type of money. How much is this car? About 480 USD. There's a half a million dollar car right there. You'll just see cars in the hundreds of thousands of dollars sitting outside a bubble tea shop on a regular basis. <laughs> it just blends in, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Your occasional Lambos, and also lots of Teslas and lots of Beavers. Just so many BMWs. Beaver crew. And twos and threes and fours. It's a whole other vibe. This is what I came here to see, guys. This high ace. This dope. Trust me, you won't see the quality of the cars in Calgary like this. Or at least not all gathered in one place all the time. Like, ugh. Calgary's scene is just, it's questionable, to say the least. Let me draw you something. Let me draw you something. Start drawing wings and shit. I'm not, I'm just, I don't want to ruin your stuff. <laughs> This guy gave me a star cry. Yo, appreciate you, homie. Thanks, man. <laughs> you uh, got an Audi, right? Yes, I did. Yes, yeah. I did. You sold up. Uh, oh, yeah, I saw that. Oh, my gosh. This is the Series 2 RX-8 that we actually needed for our Lions kit. 
you can kind of tell a difference. All right, homie. Appreciate you for All saying right, hi. Yeah, always a pleasure, Matt. Yes, man. Thank you, thank you. Back. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we will. We'll bring your cars this time. Yes, okay? sir. All right, dude. Yes, yeah. peace. Good seeing you guys. All right, have a good night, man. It's <laughs> cool. cool. Let me in, let me in. Yo, what? <laughs> All right, next week. Are you recording there, buddy? Nothing. Porn. Whoa, chill. What? This is a family friendly channel. Okay. Oh, speaking of which, are we there yet? <laughs> turn, on, <laughs> turn on the Where's Terry Crews. Terry Crews. Yo, yo, yo. We promised ourselves we'd get 24 hour fa, which is something that doesn't exist in Calgary, and we haven't gone yet, so we're gonna do that now. Yo, I was kidding, Gucci. You don't have to watch it. Maybe. We've seen every single episode while we're here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, into all those yeah, 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 You age well, mama. I believe you messed up, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know the PS5 Zelda is not really out yet? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, Sony, get on the. Are you really wanting one? Because we're giving them away. Does it look like there's any games on that, though? Like, barely any games. Cod. Everyone gets a $1,000 budget, and right now, we're looking on either Craigslist, KGG, or the Facebook Marketplace, and we all have to buy a hoopty or some sort of car and we're all just driving home. And then we're all gonna show each other what they chose. A thousand dollars, okay? That's the rules, dudes. Like, I'm looking for reliability, bros. All right, all right, all right. All right you first, Bertrand. What? Okay, ready? Yeah. It's... Acro TSX. Oh, oh, what? Is it running? Hey, for a thousand bucks, huh? Oh, oh transmission problem. Oh. Aww. Wait, name? it's it's Gucci's old car. What's what that? is that? Oh, yeah. oh, it's a works. <laughs> it's a fucked up front then. Alright. Should we go with that one then? <laughs> alright, alright. 1998 Nissan Maxima GXC. Manual everything. It's These weird. were sports cars. This was in that. I didn't the read the description. Appearance. The car starts and runs smoothly. It does leak a bit of oil, it doesn't matter. Which I replaced the valve cover gasket, but that didn't seem to be the problem. Don't care. JB Weld all the way. Oh. It has a new clutch and uh, fresh back tires. You can actually probably down talking to like eight bills or seven bills. Yeah, oh. it's a manual too. It's fun. These are actually oh, kind of cool because they're in the fine. first. Good yeah, fine. They're For a thousand the, bucks. Yeah, and they were in the first Fast and Furious movie. I forgot who was driving this. But that's not all I found. So if you go over. Onto Facebook, 1993 Audi Quattro, 2002 Volkswagen Golf, 1993 oh, Honda Civic. Yeah, let's see that one. Yeah, this is a. Is oh, look at the EG. Ooh. Yeah, it's running. It has a lot of kilometers and stuff. It's rusty, but okay. Dirty <laughs> <laughs> This Honda Civic, which has is crashed in the front, but like if it works, it works. Damn. Yo, <laughs> yeah. mine probably wouldn't even have made it. Like Honda Accord also wagon and then we can make our money back by selling these back in Calgary Yeah, cleaning them up a little and yeah. just upping the price a few hundred I mean yo, there's nothing for sale that runs in Calgary for a thousand dollars So honestly taking this back I think that's better than like a plane and we can make a trip out of it and it's dangerous <laughs> the best type of fun When the transmission goes <laughs> Bad guys six days we literally came out those gates, so same wing of this airport, but yeah, home time. I'm upset. <laughs> I don't want to go home. There's snow over there and it's cold. Oh, Somebody don't save me. us. And just like that, it was home time. It really puts it into perspective, you know, how a week can go by in a flash? Just like how a minute can seem like forever, depending on who's judging that minute. If you're actively living in the present, not to be so caught up in your thoughts about stresses of the past and worries of the future, then your days have the potential to have unlimited, cherishable moments. You just have to be open to them.